Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome again to another session. I'm still on Madelu's family. And uh, as you know, I had already mentioned to you that uh, Madelu had four daughters, uh, four sisters, I mean. Yeah, Madelu's parents had four daughters with a son. The only son was Madelu. And uh, the daughters were four. The Madilu was known by the name John Didiu, Yalu Makiese, and uh, the, the sister that followed him was, uh, was known by the name Elizabeth Yalu Makiese. Then there is Benabialu Makiese, the third one. Then fourth one is uh, Magdalene Makiese. Kiese Bialu, who was a wife to San Susi. And uh, Madilu used to mention her a lot in, her, in his songs. Uh, like uh, him and uh, San Susi were best friends. His husband with Madilu were best friends. They were like twins. That's according to Madilu's mom. And then the last one was Simba Madilu. So in total, there were five kids. And uh, two of these children are Nomo. Madilu is Nomo and Eliza. Now the eldest is my surviving sibling of Madilu is Pena. And uh, that lady is the one that I'm bringing her interview tonight. And the interview is about Madilu's property. You remember there was a row between his family and uh, his wife and uh, his widow and kids about the properties. Some relative had grabbed his properties after his death. And uh, let us hear what uh, Bena said. This is Madelu's sister uh, by the name Bena. That's what Ben said about Madelu's uh, property saga. She said that uh, she had nothing to do with it. She's the thief who broke in Madelu's uh, house and uh, stole things. The only thing they did was to salvage whatever had remained. They took 
took uh, those things to their mother's place in Matete. Mama, Mama Madiru lives in a place called Matete. And uh, there is a house that Madiru had bought her. Due to Madiru's memories, she, 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 she sold that house because she, she didn't want uh, the memories of her son to haunt her. She sold the house and uh, bought another house in the area of Matete. She could not stay in that house anymore because she used to remember about her son always, especially whenever a jeep passed by. Maybe we had a jeep. So she couldn't stand it. That's how Bena is explaining. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Kindly continue subscribing. I still have more stories about Madero sisters. I have the two, I'm bringing them just right away. You might you know about them. You know about uh, Magdalene and you know about uh, Simba Madero. Thank you very much. Continue subscribing to my YouTube channel.